there is no respite in the Donbass, where Russia is stepping up its offensive and targeting Ukrainian positions. After Mariupol, the Russian army is now focused on Severodonetsk, a city in the region of Luhansk. It's been under fire day and night. Some neighborhoods are beyond recognition. Food shortages, no electricity. The majority of its 100,000 strong population has fled, but thousands remain in the city. And while some are bent on staying, others are desperately trying to get out. Now it seems like the front is all around the city. It's practically surrounded. There are tanks. There are like you, we can see uh, uh, trucks from the army being being deployed around the city. So it seems very clear that to me, uh, it's about to fall. The Ukrainians say that the Russian army is trying to repeat the experience of Mariupol. Severodonetsk is one of the remaining Ukrainian pockets in the Luhansk region. It's surrounded by towns already under Russian control. Severodonetsk is the easternmost city that's still under Ukrainian control. It's said that there are around 8,000 Ukrainian soldiers in Severodonetsk, in Mariupol, in Avastol. There were at most two or 3,000. So the huge problem the Ukrainians are facing is should they give up on Severodonetsk, pull back and preserve these troops, or should they fight symbolically? As the conflict enters its fourth month, there are no signs that Russia will let up anytime soon. Russia's defense minister repeated on Tuesday that Moscow would press on with its war until all goals are achieved.